Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. We are very excited today to announce a new product to our uh, wonderful lineup of products on our website. What we have here is a new pulse width modulator, a new PWM. It's a constant current PWM and we designed this to fill a gap in the market that uh, basically there's nothing in the market right now that can handle very high amperage. So we designed this around that, uh, that need. This unit here can handle up to 90 amps continuous. That means you'll be able to run it at 90 amps um, continuous. So you won't have to back off 90 amps. It, uh, it is built with uh, heavy duty components and heavy duty traces on the board so that it can handle that type of amperage. It uh, features 12 and 24 volt input so those of you in, uh, in other countries that have a 24 volt charging system on your vehicles you'll be able to plug this right into that. Uh, it also will do the standard 12 volt charging systems. Uh, it has its constant current which means uh, whenever you set the uh, the cell at a given current, it'll keep it at that current, even though the cell is is heating up um, and wants to draw more current. Um, as you can see, there's uh, there's no fan on this unit. We've designed this unit uh, so efficient that it wouldn't doesn't need a fan. Uh, I just have a heat sink right here. So you don't have to worry about fans burning out and having to change fans when you go from 12 to 24 volt. Um, like I said, it, it handles power at, at really high amperage. Uh, inside, we've got eight 200 amp power MOSFETs. So it's got plenty of uh, power handling, handling capability to spare. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a PWM is, it's a uh, it's a little electronic device that we hook to a HHO or hydrogen generator um, to control the amount of current that goes goes to the generator, which in turn well, you can control the amount of output that you get from your generator. Um, it also they also help to run uh, the generator's cooler than uh, straight DC. And they're very important for a uh, an HHO or hydrogen system. All right, now I'll show you a little bit uh, of the options on the PWM here. It comes in a aluminum. It's an aluminum case, real heavy duty case. You can see here it has mounting points. You can mount it on the firewall or wherever. Uh, right here on the side, you've got your input ports here. You've got one for your power and then two ports that go to your shunt. There's the shunt. And the shunt, what it does is it reads the amperage for the, uh, for the digital display. So without the shunt, the digital display won't work. The reason why we used a shunt instead of having a, uh, a shunt on the board is that uh, with real high uh, power outputs, um, internal shunts create a lot of heat. So we opted to have the shunt on the, on the external uh, part of the system. Right here, there's a knob, and this knob you turn to increase uh, the amperage going to the cell. That knob there um, will control this this power module by itself. Uh, the screen here is an option. It's optional. You don't have to use the screen, but it makes it nice. Uh, right here is where there's an RJ45 data connection right here. You plug in the uh, into the port there and on the screen plug it in into the port there and this is nice you can have this 
in the vehicle so you can keep a good eye on the amperage and then how your cell is doing. And from this dial here you can increase the amperage and lower it and wherever you set it it'll stay there. It also has an on off override. You can turn the whole thing off with that switch there. Now, another feature of this PWM is that uh, it is a good option to have if you're wanting to run your generator, your HHO system or hydrogen system in cold weather. Now we all have problems with our water freezing in the cold weather. Well, this, this cell right now has 25% by weight of potassium hydroxide, KOH, in the water. So the water will not freeze. The PWM can handle huge amounts of inrush current. So without this, at 25 amps, this little tiny cell would probably want to draw 100 amps. By itself, but uh, we got to we got to control that. Uh, this unit here will control the high inrush currents, uh, potential inrush currents, from using a large quantity of or large percentage of electrolyte concentration. So with this unit, you'll be able to keep your your cell from freezing in the winter time. This cell is available in a 50, a 50 amp, a 70 amp, and a 90 amp option on the website. It has the optional re remote console that you can add to it. Let's turn this up a little bit. So you can see how it runs over 50 amps. The cell I've got it hooked to is pretty small. It's a little six inch cell, 20 plate. See the output there. You can find this fine product on our website at www.greenfuelh2o.com. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.